What's up guys, welcome back. Um, today we're going to reveal something that I've had for a little bit. Um, and I was gonna do a final reveal when it was all ready to go, but I showed this um, in a live stream and just thought we would um, go ahead and get that out of the way with the reveal since I haven't done a video for a couple weeks. So uh, let's check it out. going on guys I haven't made a video um, in a couple weeks and a lot of it's um, due to uh, I'm waiting on some parts um, the next things I'm gonna do to the car aren't exactly like uh, cheap mods um, so I um, I just thought I'd do like a parts reveal uh, on for a video or two and the first video uh, parts reveal is going to be for something um one of a couple things i showed in a live stream the other night um i think i, I showed this in next gen car guys um his live stream and if you don't follow him i'm sure you do because he's got a, a cool channel um if you if you don't definitely go over there and check out his channel but i showed these uh were one of the parts i showed and i wanted to wait until i um i completely got it all done but it's a set of wheels and I worked for a couple days um, trying to figure out the offsets. If you've ever bought a set of, uh, of wheels, aftermarket wheels for a Fox body, and mine's been five lug converted, the offsets, you got to really watch that uh, um, on the front and back. A typical five lug offset is um, somewhere in the 25, minus 25 to minus 27 millimeters area. Um, that's what you'll see in a lot of 22s, some of them minus 22, uh, depending on front or back. Um, that's what you'll see on a lot of SN95 wheels, which are the common thing. Um, if you look at LMR or American Muscle or any of those places that sell wheels, that's, you know, they're, they're selling, that's primarily the offsets. So with this car, I didn't really, I used to have FR500s and, and, um, in my intro and stuff and if you've seen me on instagram or um, stuff you've seen pictures of my car i had fr 500s and i really liked them they were 10 and a half inches wide on the back though and it they were just a little bit too much um width and they were rubbed because i think i had i had like a 315 or a 305 back then i went down to a 275 and, and they weren't too bad but with the 305 or the 315 that i had it was way too much tire and uh you know, even with the inner fender wells and stuff hit, they they rubbed. And I kind of told myself back then when I got rid of them that I wasn't going to put 18s on again. I would go down to 17. But I just lo I love the, the look of the 18, I think. It just looks so cool. Um, so I figured out that I would just try to um, maybe go a little bit narrower on the wheel, which is why with these, I went with an 8.5 on the front. And I went with a 9.5 on the back. Now... The offset on these wheels are minus 35 and with that what that means is um I'm, I'm like i'm the common ones the minus 25 minus 27 the wheel would be pushed out toward the fender more okay um the the higher the negative number the more the wheel will suck into the car so these uh with the minus 35 it's pretty it's a pretty big amount um but it's a cool wheel and i've never seen somebody with a fox run these and um so i got some aftermarket center caps too i'm going to show you those and they fit perfect as i just luckily luckily guessed like the right size so um without any more uh talking about it let's let's take a look that's them um, this is the front, obviously. That's a 18 by 8.5 wide. And right now, I just have a half inch spacer on there. Um, I have several spacers hanging here that I've had over the years that I bought. And I keep them more or less for testing to figure out what kind of a spacer I need if I have to have one. 
and I played with it a lot and it looks like a half inch is going to be perfect for the front. Now a lot of people, they, um, they don't like spacers and one of the big things I think that you need to watch and look out for on the front especially is whether or not it's a hub centric spacer and by hub centric see this lip on the spacer that actually so it's going to slide over top of your these are um 95 gt front spindles um which if you have a fox body that's what you want to use 94 95 um if you use 96 or up it'll pull your push your wheel out more and i didn't i don't want that so um some companies like maximum motorsports their uh, cane member was designed for a 96 up but that's like a totally another video talking about that but so anyway the you want this part here this will center your rim okay and but the thing you'll you'll run into like on this one it's made for uh there's two different lug patterns in here um it's the five on four and a half and then I think a five by four and three quarter, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember the other one, but five on four and a half is what we're using. That's for uh, about any Mustang up through there. I don't think, I'm not sure they, if they maybe have changed, but uh, SN95 and then uh, 197 cars, I think they're all five on four and a half. So these are made in america they're made out of t6061 aluminum and maximum motorsports is who makes them and they say that they'll work fine um so they're not cheap i mean that's the other thing i wouldn't do um a lot of people are afraid of wheel spacers i wouldn't go buying ten dollar wheel spacers you know what i mean off ebay or like 15 20 wheel spacers these are actually like i think they're close to 100 bucks for the pair of them but another thing that you run into so when you go to get these, the Fox body, or not Fox body, but the SN95, and then after that, they also changed it a little bit, um, just by like 0.2 millimeters. But the the hub size in this is 70.5 for this, okay? SN95, I think it's uh, 70.3, so it's really close. Um, I don't know if you've really noticed much of a difference, you know. As long as you had the smaller size and going up but what what you do need to watch though is when you go to order a set of wheels like this you need to find out what the center bore of the wheel you're getting okay and that's where these come in this is a hub centric spacer ring okay and when you have like this a 70.5 um hub and the wheel i've got now is a 73.1 millimeter okay so you buy these rings, and you can get them pretty cheap. This one um, is a polymer. Um, they also make them out of aluminum. I, I kind of wanted to stay away from the aluminum because I didn't want anything that would oxidize, and then I'd you know have a tough time either getting it out of off of here or getting it out of my rim. But it'll just slide over like that, and then that takes up the extra space between the wheel spacer and your wheel. So it'll center your wheel. Uh, won't put it off any and that way you won't have any balance issues Now with the back one um, We'll show you the back wheels that I got I'll show you. you can kind of see that I think it came out really cool guys um, Couldn't get much happier than that and if you can see down there the back it uh it set ultra close to the lip. It's like almost dead flush. So it should look pretty cool. Um, there you are. And this is a 18 by nine and a half. And I converted the back over a few months ago. I put, um, SN95, the GT style rear disc brakes, and those are a 10 inch rotor. And it's, I think it's just, it's crazy, insane how much, how small that an 18 inch wheel makes a 10 inch disc brake rotor look. And that, it's, it's crazy. 
And you can see here, try to get you in there. Kind of hard to see, but it came like it's dead flush, guys. It came out dead flush with the with the rear quarter panel. So I'm really happy with that. Now the front and the back are both minus 35 offset. So to get this to set right, um, I got a one inch spacer. Okay. And this one is made by um, Bear Brakes. And it's also, it's also made in the USA. Um, but uh, it's not a hub centric, which I uh, contacted Bear and I asked them. Um, if I'd run into any issues, but I did notice it's got a couple different lug patterns in it also just like the front does but on the studs it fits ultra tight like You have to be you have to have that going on like perfect It almost feels like it's not right if it's if if you don't have that going on square so um, The guy at bear I talked to him and he's like you you won't have any issues those things are they're machined really well and I was pretty amazed. Like I, the other ones I used to uh, figure out what spacers I need, they um, they're just some cheap spacers. I think I've gained like thirty bucks a pair for you know, years ago before I knew any better about spacers and what to do. But um, you can tell like a huge difference in the quality. But also these spacers are um, they're a hundred dollars for a set of spacers. So just in wheel spacers alone for this car, I've got. 200 bucks you know um which i got a pretty decent deal on the wheels um like coupon code and stuff it, it saved me like a hundred dollars so um that was pretty good the only thing that kind of sucks and i got lucky with these um the other thing you really got to watch when you're doing this is you have to have extended lug nuts okay these are the type that just slip on they're not the ones where they bolt on and uh then the wheel bolts to them which I don't, I, I don't know that I would want to run something like that. Um, there's a couple companies that make those in America also, and they say they're okay. Um, they use like 10.9, which is a grade eight hardness of a, a stud. And I thought about using those, but it's not going to work because I got ARP studs in the back of this. And physically, it, the stud would be too long. So I wanted one that was a thicker one. And they only make those down to three quarter inch which I couldn't use on the front. Um, I needed only a half inch. So that's why we didn't do that route, mainly on the front. I had thought about it, but, um, which is another thing you gotta use uh, on the wheel studs. So a factory um, Fox body wheel stud is only two inches long, which made me get these, okay? These are um, Moroso, the hardened uh, racing studs. These are an inch longer, so these are three inches, um, which will be perfect for the front end. I ordered two packs and uh, American Muscles, where I got them from, because they were like, they were quite a bit cheaper than anybody else, and they had them in stock. Um, but they sent them, and they did a terrible packing job, and the box came open, and I only got one set of them. So uh, that was great. Um, so they're sp they're sending me another set of these, and. Uh, if I don't get to it this week, which I doubt if I'll have time, I'm going to do it um, next weekend. And I'll, I'll switch out the wheel studs in the front. And then we'll be all good to go. Because I, I ended up ordering um, a new set of brake pads and a new set of rotors. And I'll make another video. Um, probably make a video showing those. Um, they're pretty nice. I just thought, you know, these are, uh, these are just your run-of-the-mill um, 2003 cobra rotors and when i bought these pads i bought um i needed them like the last minute I, did, I couldn't order anything online so i just walked into i think advance and told them to give me the best brake pads they had and honestly they suck um they put dust out not terrible but enough that if i had a nice set of wheels i wouldn't want to use them um so i went ahead and ordered a, a set of uh ones that are supposed to put out like next to no dust so um from rock auto and uh like i said I'll, I'll go through those i'll show them um i don't know if i'll do a video putting them on but i'll just go through those like an unbox and uh and tell you what ones i got there but 
But yeah, um, let me know what you think of the wheels. Um, like I said, I really, I, I really wanted to get something that I don't see a lot. And it's been like six years ago or so, a while ago when I got the FR500. And you didn't really see FR500s that much. Um, and, now, and now you see like everybody, everybody's got FR500s. So this is kind it kind of almost looks like an FR500, but, but it looks a little sleeker and it doesn't have as much, you know, not near as much dish in the back. But the cool thing about these two is, um, these are roto forged. These are, these are like a really cool wheel. Um, a forged wheel isn't cheap, you know. It's hard to find a set of forged wheels for less than a thousand dollars, and and I got these for less than a grand. I was blown away by how cheap that was. That's really the only reason I got I got these when I did. I thought I was gonna have to hold out, you know, and get them a little bit later, but um, I uh, I ended up being able to swing that. So I've got front tires coming. The rears I haven't really decided exactly what I want to use. Um, kind of thinking of a Toyo, uh, but also still kind of playing with the idea of getting a, a Mickey Thompson SS or an m and Race Master drag radial. Um, I really want to get something that's like a 275-40, and with the Toyos, I'm only going to be able to get the R888s, not the R888R. Um, I want to stay at like a 26 and a half to... I, I want to stay at a, a close... A 27 to a 28-inch wheel is tire is what i want um and the r triple eight r would be awesome but they don't make the r triple eight r in a 275 40 18 they only make it in a 275 35 so we'll see um i'm probably here in the next week or two i'm probably going to make a decision and just go ahead and get a set and once we get those on um we're going to take it and have the next step i got the parts for that and that'll be our next video. So, um, as always, thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see some Fox body stuff, um, once we get all this handled to get the wheels and tires on it, and I get the other mod I'm going to do, and um, I got to get my title switched over to Florida here and get Florida tags. Um, then we're going to start driving this on the street, and we're going to take it to um, a couple tracks. Um, I've got one Sunshine Speedway is like 20 minutes up the street and Bradenton's only about 45 minutes south. So um, we're going to try to do that a few times, but we'll see how it works out. And uh, thanks for watching and um, see you next time.